a lot of times questions that people send to me on Facebook or via email become my next tutorial. And this is one of those cases. Somebody wanted to make a vinyl pattern to press onto something and they're trying to scale it correctly. So this is how I would do it. They wanted a a pattern that's going to fill a 10 by 10 square. So I would insert a square and first make that 10 inches by 10 inches. And we're going to zoom out so we can see it a little better. And I'm just going to make this purple. Change the color. Let's make it darker. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so this isn't the exact pattern that this person was going to use but it gets you the idea of what we're doing. I'm gonna look for a flourish. And oh, that could be fun. Now, do you ever feel like you look through designs and you could go on for days? trying to find what you like. I know, me too. Okay, we're just gonna use this one. Okay, so let's pretend this is the design she wants and she wants it to fill this whole pattern piece. She wants the height of it to be about an inch and a half. Okay, so now I can duplicate that. And let's say I want this one spaced out here and that one spaced out there. And now I'm going to kind of put the other ones just randomly in here. And you know what? Maybe I don't need that many. Okay. So now what I want to do is take all of these flourishes. I don't want the square. So I'm going to actually turn off the square for now. So I'm going to take all these flourishes and I want to align them so they're aligned through their center vertically. So now it's all lined up and now I want them spaced evenly. So I'm going to distribute horizontally and it shifted those all around. Okay, so now this is the spacing I want. So I'm going to group this together. So now I can move this spacing around um, on my square. So I'm going to turn my square back on and now I could hit duplicate for this whole piece or whole grouping. And now I can put it there and duplicate again and put that one there. And then, oh, I can do this and this and align those that way so they're lined up on top of each other. And I keep doing that till I build the pattern that fills the entire 10 by 10 square. Um, yes, I will cut off some of this, you know, like if I cut this out of vinyl, I won't need half of this, but that's fine. Um, I could then take the, the half that I don't need over here and flip it over here. Or you could slice and flip it over there. But this shows how you can create your own pattern to fill up the entire space and it's sized exactly how you want it. I hope that showed you something new and different that you could do with Cricut Design Space. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a like, leave me a comment with your question. It might turn it into my next tutorial and make sure to subscribe so that you get all of my videos right away. Thanks.